Today's art lesson is just like today's first example. How do you draw something three-dimensional, like a building, on a two-dimensional surface like paper and make it look realistic? I'm going to show you how right now. You're going to need your sketchbook, some color brush markers, a pencil, a ruler, and maybe a permanent ink pen. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is take your ruler so that it goes perfectly horizontal pretty much anywhere on your page, but I, since we're just starting out, I want to start in the center. And you're going to draw a light line. And then you're going to make something called a vanishing point, which is just a tiny dot for right now. Now let's look at our um, first one. I've been working on this little cartoon page. The vanishing point on a, on a drawing is actually the furthest point that we can see. It's so far away, that's where everything vanishes. So this is our vanishing point. Now let's start with a cityscape. The uh, next thing you're going to do is start at your dot and then draw a line outward. It doesn't matter the slope of your ruler, but you're going to repeat on the other side. Okay, and so that starts our road. Then you're going to do the exact thing going in the opposite direction. And notice I'm always starting my lines at the vanishing point. So I'm going to show you just how to draw a simple building to get started. So buildings go straight up and down. We'll start with the skyscraper kind of in the middle of our street. So I'm going to take my ruler, make it perfectly vertical, and draw a line. Then I'm going to repeat um, as far away from that first line as you want, so maybe an inch and a half, and then draw another line. And that starts our building. Then to make the side of the building, because we're looking down this road like we're standing in the middle of the street, you're going to find the corner where those two lines meet make our ruler horizontal or perfectly parallel with our first line and draw the edge. And then you're gonna repeat at the top. And you can use your ruler or um, just kind of eyeball it, we call it, which is just making it look right. So then, once we have our building started, you can go back and erase some of your lines. And so now, I have the start of my building. And on buildings, we're probably gonna find some doors and windows. So how do we add those? You're gonna go back to your vanishing line and everything that you put um, on the side of your building is going to line up with that vanishing line. So the top of the door, we need a little, I'm just gonna make a little half inch mark. And then the sides of the door will come straight down vertically. So there's our door. Now windows, the same rule applies. Come Find your vanishing point again, draw a light line, and you can kind of um, hand draw some of these elements. That's what I did to my um, drawing to make it more cartoony. So there's a, a big window, and I'm going to just draw the parallel lines again. But then if you want it to have panes, then you need those to line up with your vanishing point as well. So you're learning that when you use a, um, when you draw in perspective, the vanishing point is everything, okay? So then the fun part, you can color your buildings, whatever you want. I'm using these super cool brush markers that are almost like painting with watercolor. And you can color your whole building. And you can add some shading. Let's jump over to my um, finished example so I can show you a few things. Like down in the corner here, if you want to make this a little darker, you can come in here. You can add a little bit more to your road. The more layers you build up with these markers, the darker it gets. But it's okay if it looks a little bit um, brushy, we would say, with that uh, marker texture because it's handmade and it's a cartoon and it looks really cool. And I could add some little green zings to my flies that are um, protecting the city. So anything goes with perspective. And just remember, the closer to the vanishing point, the farther it looks away. And when you work in the foreground, those are the things that are near. That's perspective.